You got to have more than that wop to let a marriage last. In order for a marriage to last, man, you got to have a spiritual connection. You just can't have good booty. And that's if the booty was good. You know, a lot of times in this world, you know, sex is glorified. It's put on a pedestal. We think sex is the cure for everything. But it's not. It feels good. And it's really good when you're really in love. But a lot of times, people, we worship the booty and beauty, superficial things, and we think we're going to be happy because we got those things. But those things can't keep people together. You can have millions of dollars, and people still don't stay together because what happens is you get immune to that stuff, or you always want more. In this world, man, love is rare because we got so many distractions for love. We always got so many distractions when it comes to love, man. We make it hard because we gotta worry about how much how much a person got in the bank account, how how tall a person is, or can we control a person? Are they good in sex? How big his dick is, how tight her coochie is. Uh we we deal with a lot. We deal with a lot when it comes to just trying to get simple love. You know, agape love is unconditional love. Loving somebody no matter what, whether they poor, you know, whether they rich, whether they burnt up in the fire. But we don't do all that type of stuff. Our love is based on conditions. If the person got look got money, I'm going to pretend like I like, I'm going to force myself to like this person because of where they live at, because their family got money, because... Because my friends say we're going to make nice looking kids. All this stuff just because of superficial stuff. It's nothing wrong with being physically attracted to people. It's nothing wrong with nice things. But none of that stuff supposed to get in the way of people. Because at the end of the day, you take all that away. Will you still be able to be, get along with that person if they didn't have no money status? You know what I'm saying? If, if this whole society go in a whole different way of doing things where we don't need money, who will you be with? Because the only per thing going to matter at that time is health, personality, love, good heart, mind. That's the only thing people need to be concerned about anyway. Because in this world, everything is getting screwed up because of money, looks, and status. You know, we, we, we don't want to really love nobody unless they under certain circumstances. This person not my type. That person not my type. Then when we think we got our type, they not good in the bedroom. His dick too small. Uh, she promiscuous. She don't want to do this in the bedroom. Or, or this person don't make this amount of money. It's always something. Even when you think you found your type, your, your relationship rate, failure rate has been 100% all your life. But you still go after the same type. Your type have done you no justice. Yet you still say you got a type. I understand. You don't suppose to give up. But at some point we got to broaden our horizon. Try a few different things. And we got to start paying attention to what's paying attention to us. Because a lot of times we, what we want don't want us. And what won us, we don't appreciate. So we have to start appreciating what won us. I mean, really appreciate it without acting like we gonna give it a, you know, we gonna give it, we giving a person a favor because they like us a lot. You know, when you're dealing with marriage and husband and wife, nobody's perfect. But it's nothing like a man still having some, having a good heart and having love in his heart. It's not like a woman still having a little bit of innocence left in her, even if she's not a virgin. You know, the fact that she has some kind of innocence left in her, an alpha male, a real male, a real unionary male really can appreciate a woman to have some innocence left over. Because most women don't have no innocence left over. They done done every sex, sexual activity since they was 15, 14, uh, suck dicks in cars. They done... Uh, 
done all kinds of stuff, man. You know, and have been with women and have dealt with all kinds of sex toys. They have ripped their vagina out of place. You know, and they still, you know, they think they're innocent, but they're not innocent no longer. Because you know, a man can't feel nothing. You know, a lot of times there are women, a woman with a worn out vagina going to blame a man on uh, that his... Uh, his, that his dick not big enough but she don't realize that she don't have no walls he can't feel nothing you know even if her butt fat he just in a big hole with big butt cheeks it's nothing like a tight vagina hole naturally not with vinegar not with surgery how you can have her you, you know a lot of you get, you want to know how you can have a tight vagina by not sexing old every guy that your friends say cute. Every guy that got a nice car. Every guy that got curly hair. Every guy that's tall and dark and handsome. Every guy that's funny. You deal with a guy that's really into you to have some kind of Jesus in him. And he's showing you strong, genuine attention. You guys got a lot of good in common, got communication. He has a good heart. Same with the women. Those who you get chances to. That way your sex... Your mouths won't be so high. And I fall victim of that, of having sex with a lot of women. But it's definitely not good for no woman because she got a hole. It's not good for no man this day and age either. But a woman, she supposed to be a little better than a man. It's called the better half. So we just got to understand that in this life, we got to be careful what we do. Because it all affects us. Everything we do affects us. Everything is going to affect the future, you know. And women, if they want a husband, you don't want your husband getting leftovers. You don't want your husband getting a, okay, now that I found a man that loved me, he can get all the used up, worn out, big, loose, jolly hole that all the guys who didn't give a fuck about me, they got it while it was tight. Now, I'm a, now the guy who really care about me, he gonna get the leftover juicy, worn out, chitlin, fried bologna looking coochie hole. Nobody's perfect and God, Jesus got grace on all of us, but we just gotta be careful if we know. We gotta be careful and we gotta spread the word to the next person because a lot of people don't know that they messing their body up. A lot of guys don't know the difference between quality, quality vagina, or or loose vagina. It's not every girl that loose, but in this world, sex has been put to the forefront. So a lot of women are using sex toys, and they having sex with a lot of different guys and women. They have orgies, trains run on, so a lot of vaginal activity is taking place. A lot of them don't know how to clean properly. They still got bacteria and sweat from that man, the other man, that man. So all kind of stuff going on. And then they get bad stuff happening when you got all that stuff going on in your life. You know, you got start having cervical problems and vaginal problems. And stuff can spread throughout your body. You got to deal with a man that love you for you. You got to deal with a woman that love you for you. Not just because your money. You got to deal with a man that love you for you. Not just because your body, your titty balls. You know, a lot of times that so-called whap ain't all that good. A lot of women think they got good vagina hole, but it's not. People got to have a real connection when they get married. So Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B. You know, a lot of girls look up to Cardi B because she outspoken. She got a lot of little girls that's trying to act like her. Hopefully she can, her legacy can have a better, a more cleaner, a more cleaner reputation, you know, for the, for the people that look up to her. Other than that, the devil going to keep smiling. And next thing you know, the spread, the epidemic going to keep spreading. And a lot of women going to still be walking around thinking it's cool to be strippers, prostitutes. Uh, be conniving and manipulating guys for money. So that's why relationships is not good because 
women are not innocent no more. They have no more morals, and guys have allowed it. It's guys, guys are just as wrong as the women. They're probably more wrong for just feeding into it because a lot of times the women unconsciously follow the men. So I don't really blame the women because the men should be strong enough to say, look, I'm attracted to more than just your sex. I, I'm, I need more. And then women will bring more. They will have to stretch their soul to become more. But the guys, they don't put women to no test. They take anything. These guys are the weakest bunch in history. They are pussy hole slaves. Used pussy hole slaves. Most of these guys are used coochie hole slaves. I'm Alan Williams, a millionaire. Don't forget to press like, subscribe, follow. Press the bell to see the next video. Share this on your social media if you like. Remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Remember, true love is agape. And you got to have more connection than just physical. See you, see you in a few minutes.